mental group of BBLLB, LLB, and LLM are there. Oh. Uh, in some of the cases, like uh, one student had said that the, the parent uh, was with them. If they want to also come over here, they are welcome. Uh, welcome to the family of you know Department of Juridical Sciences. Uh, you know uh, our respective faculties. Uh, two of them are there. You know uh, Swamodip Kundu, uh, Assistant Professor, uh, Dr. Apuru Pakira, he is the Associate Professor. There are three other full-time faculties: Mongol Bhattacharya, Riya Manaji, and Sundarta Mukherjee. I am very certain that. In uh, next uh, few minutes, they are going to come, and we have a common dean. You know, I think you all have already seen the dean uh, in a in a first part of the induction program, Professor Rakesh Kumar Gardwe, sir. So you know, uh, that is our you know entire family. Uh, beyond that, beyond them, there are also a group of part-time faculty, the guest faculty, whom you will be in a position to come. And uh, meet in due period of time because uh, there are a number of subjects, and as you know, for yourself, there are specializations. So, beyond you know, full time faculties, there are uh, a number of guest faculties. Now, in the context of you know, uh, law as such, one good thing is that you know, uh, we are having a mix in the context of uh, the, the, the co structure that are being created. Those who are having BBLLB honors subject that is of five years. They have subjects of, you know, uh, it's an integrated type of syllabus where there are subjects of law, you know, like your, your procedural laws, your substantive laws, constitutional law, and all of that. At the same time, there are subjects of, you know, your BBA groups, that means the, the management subjects. Those who are doing LLB three years course, uh, who are doing it after graduation, you will generally have all the law subjects. Generally, what, what happens is, we have this common subjects which are then BBLLB honors and also LLB together, you know, uh, according to the time period because uh, that helps in optimum, you know, utilization of resources. Regarding the LLM group, there are three respective specializations LLM in criminal law, LLM in corporate law, LLM in constitutional law. And uh, you will know for yourself that, you know, uh, students who will uh, specialize in either of those specializations. Uh, they will basically, uh, you know, deal with that particular form of uh, LLM. Now, uh, in, in the context of, you know, induction in the morning, I suppose you all have got the message from our respected Vice Chancellor, sir. And this sir was very categorical in terms of, you know, students maintaining the timetable, students, you know, uh, you know, being very punctual in the context of the classes because you will be, you know, knowing that our Bar Council of India requires seventy percent attendance as minimum, which is the yardstick for, you know, your uh, getting a scope of sitting for the exams, both in, uh, in the, your midterm examinations, which is out of thirty, and your end term examinations out of fifty. All your faculties they will be individually in a position to tell you how serious is this particular, you know, uh, requirement because. You will be facing in a few days' time all the different, you know, uh, so-called your seniors. And seniors can come up and say whatever that comes in their mind. I mean, you know, ultra matter for the Sundar way from your seniors. I mean, the Bhagi mere kadi thi lagan all that. Try to, you know, get away from all those Google advisors. None of the seniors are at all required in the context of helping you in the context of any of the subjects. To be very honest, all your faculties they are capable enough. The faculties will guide you in the context of what are the textbooks to basically deal with. What are the other sources, secondary sources to be looked into, and the faculties, you know, for your so-called basic requirement, we have a broad system of, you know, mentorship, and uh, individual, you know, uh, respective students, they are actually allocated to individual mentor. So you, your first interaction generally has to be with the mentor. Any so-called academic aspect, other than academics also, you are free to go over there. There will be designated meetings where you go to the mentor. The mentor is going to you know address you in your level, and thereafter, if it is not sorted out, then you come finally to the office of the, you know, the department. I don't think there will be one single instance where that is at all going to be required, because a lot of students, you know, without knowing the hierarchy, they might come up and jump into the idea that you know I have a concern, and I don't have anybody else to basically discuss about that. It can directly go down to the office of the vice chancellor, which is absurd, which is not desirable at all. You go to your mentor. The mentor is going to, you know, deal with you at the first instance. Second is in the in the context of, you know, as far as the, you know, uh, the the BBLLB, LLB, and LLM are concerned. Our overall 
the entire yearly calendar is already on. It is, it is published, it is already gazetted. So the question is, whatever are the academic curriculum that will be, you know, mentioned at the very beginning. You have to very seriously stick to that at, at every level. And uh, there will be, you know, parent-teacher meetings at regular intervals where we basically want to also interact with your parents. And uh, the, the faculty will be in a position to tell your parents as to your existing progress in the different disciplines. So I don't want to, you know, waste time on the very first day in terms of telling everything about the course. There are a lot of questions that are there in your mind. In, instead of that, I will, I, I, I'll give a scope in respect to all the faculties of, of law department. If they can speak for a few minutes in respect of, you know, the so-called uh, you know, expectations and also our existing course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So,